Hello everyone, welcome back to Asha.Academy. Today, let me walk you through debate writing. What is a debate? A debate is an organized argument or contest of ideas in which the participants discuss a topic from two opposing sides. Debate literally means to fight. Debate, it happens in the public forum on a particular topic. So here, how to write a debate? You need to start with the quote followed by the very first paragraph and the very first paragraph comprises of salutation and introduction. What is that salutation? Greeting the chief guest or the jury members, the principal and the listeners. And then introduction. What is your name? Which class are you studying in? All these details and whether you are for the topic or against the topic. This will be included in paragraph 1. And paragraph 2, you need to give out the reasons. Why do you support this particular topic, whether it is for or against? Yes, so reason to support your stand. It must be uh, very clear whether you are for or against. Paragraph 3. What you need to do is you need to assume that your opponent has said a few statements and those statements you need to write it down and you need, need to make it very clear about your stand here. You need to disagree with your opponent's points here in paragraph 3. And then paragraph 4, you need to come to a conclusion. You need to greet them too. So paragraph 1. So how to go about after soon after writing the quote. You need to start with paragraph 1. Honorable jury members, respected principal, dear opponents and beloved friends. Good morning. I am Krishna of class 11 and I am standing here to strongly favor the motion. So what's the topic? It should be written within the inverted commas here. So, here salutation and then introduction. And if you are against the motion, you need to write down, I stand firmly against the motion. The topic you need to write it down within the inverted commas. Paragraph 2. As I already told you, you need to write down the reason why are you for the motion or against the motion, the strong statements you need to write it down paragraph three your opponent's ideas you need to write it down here at least one or two you need to write it down and you need to disagree with their statements paragraph four conclusion so here in conclusion you need to sum up at least a line you need to write it down and along with the greeting word that is thank you here you need to place a record of gratitude then, the very first example for you, homework should be banned. How lovely it is. Children, you love to uh, ban this homework. So here, homework, the teachers wait to find out how smart parents are. Yes, of course. Yes, homework is for parents. So here, when you write down the quote, it makes your debate it's more appealing here and not only that one it is an attention grabber it is an interesting first sentence to grab the audience attention then comes salutation as i already told you and you need to introduce yourself good morning respected judges teachers worthy opponents and my dear friends I, Jacob of class 12, stand before you to speak for the motion. You need to make it very clear whether you are for the motion or against the motion here. On the topic, what is the topic? It should be written within the inverted commas. Then, you need to write down the strong reasons. Why are you for the motion or against the motion here in paragraph 2? Of course. Homework takes up a big part of students' lives. 
It is seen as wrecking kids or even killing parents. Students who spend too much time on homework are not always able to meet other needs, like being physically and socially active. Homework is stressful. More than 80% of students show symptoms of stress, such as headaches, exhaustion, sleep deprivation, weight loss, and stomach problems. All of these bother some stress and health issues are all thanks to homework. What is that all thanks to? Due to homework. Look at this 80%. So here you can give the statistical data also. You cannot write down the exact one, but at least somewhat related to that one, you can write it. It's an assum uh, uh, It's your assumption here. And then the next paragraph, paragraph three, teachers believe that the, uh, that the more homework they give, the faster students will improve and remember what they have learned. However, look at the cohesive device here. That is not the case. Students, they do it mechanically. I vehemently oppose my opponent's statement. So you need to write down a few phrases like I oppose my opponent's statement or I vehemently oppose my opponent's statement. I disagree with my opponent's or rival's statement here that home assignments allow parents to encourage their children to communicate more so here in this paragraph you need to write down at least one of your opponents that is um, opponents point here so that you can disagree with that one and you need to write down the reason again actually students begin working on their homework and projects as soon as they get home and they barely have time to chat with their families in my opinion, so look at this phrase, in my opinion, in my point of view, when students are overburdened with homework and assignments, their sleep cycles become irregular, disturbing their biological clocks and decreasing the quality of their sleep. So the next one, in conclusion, that is paragraph four. In conclusion, homework should be banned to have a sound mind in a sound body. If only you are healthy enough, you can uh, work on uh, further. Thank you, everyone. So finally, you need to place a record of gratitude to everyone here. So this is how you need to go about with the debate. If you start with a quote, it is an uh, attention grabber and then salutation and then introduction and then first paragraph. You need to give out the strong reasons here. Then the second paragraph, you need to talk about your opponent's ideas here and then conclusion along with thanks. The next one. A genius is a talented person who does his homework. So the very first one was for the motion and this example is against the motion. Good morning, respected judges, teachers, worthy opponents, and my dear friends. I, Saravanan of class 12, stand before you to speak against the motion on the topic. Homework should be banned. Again, it should be within the inverted commas. And you need to underline whether you are for the motion or against the motion. So, the very first one is quotes here. And then salutation here. And then introduction. The next paragraph. I support the view. Look at this phrase. I support the view. So when you want to give out strong reasons here, you can start like this. I support the view that homework has an important role to play in the schooling of children. Homework can be very effective in supporting what students are learning in class. The main benefit of homework is that it encourages independent learning and problem solving as children are challenged to work through tasks alone and at their own pace. In doing so, look at this phrase again. Students must apply the knowledge that they have learnt in the classroom. For example, so you need to give a few instances, at least one example here. For example, by doing mathematics exercises at home, students consolidate their understanding of the concepts taught by their teacher at school. In my opinion, in my point of view, homework allows the teacher to determine if a student has a grasp on the materials being taught in the classroom. And then comes the next paragraph. As my opponent mentioned, so here in this paragraph, you need to uh, put forward a few of the statements or at least one statement which has been 
put forward by your opponent. So as my opponent mentioned that homework gives stress, but I don't agree. It reduces the stress and anxiety of test taking and it can be an effective way to discover learning disabilities. Homework benefits children in the long run. To conclude, I would say homework is an essential tool in the development of life lessons. Thank you. And listen, you people do know very well what is the word limit. If it is 120 to 150 words, you can go for three paragraphs. If it is for um, 200 words, that is 150 to 200 words, then you can go for four paragraphs here. The next one. Introducing a point, while introducing a point, what you should do, you can make use of these phrases here. A few phrases like, first of all, I would like to point out and, and then the main problem is or speaking of, speaking of the homework, whatever you can write it down. And then sequencing of points while writing one or two or three points, then you can sequence it down. How, first of all, I would like to say or in addition to that or moreover furthermore so when you keep writing points after points then in that case you can go for moreover furthermore and then when you want to give an example for an instance another example of this is first second third finally so all these phrases will be very helpful for you while expressing your disagreement I don't agree with my opponent's view about. I can't accept my opponent's view that. I'm of a different opinion. I strongly or vehemently oppose that. Let me respond by stating. Yes, and even you can write down or uh, claim. My opponent claimed that. You can write down even that particular uh, phrase here. So here is a worksheet for you children. Video games are good. Report, video games, solitude, processing, quick teamwork. Secondly, socialization, accuracy. These are all the few words. Oh, with these words, you need to fill in the given blanks. Read the following debate and fill in the blanks with the right words given above. Video games foster the mindset that allows creativity to grow by Nolan Bushnell. So this is the quote. And then revered jury members, beloved opponents and friends. Good morning or whatever it is, you need to write it down. I, Shashank of class 11, standing in front of you to speak for the motion. Video games are good. So, quote is over. Salutation is over. Introduction is over. Then comes. First of all, I would like to state that. Look at this phrase here, children. Followed by a blank. Have shown to improve one's cognitive abilities, such as visual, uh, spatial ability, increased dash speed mathematical intelligence dash it involves a lot of critical thinking problem solving and the use of logic these skills help you to perform your job in a better way do you know see when you question someone again it attracts the audience so here it's a rhetorical question you don't expect the answer from the audience but at least you'll you'll get to know whether the listeners or the spectators or the audience are they listening to you or not do you know that surgeons who played video games regularly had higher dash and could complete tasks faster than non-gamers the next paragraph as my opponents you need to point out the opponents points here as my opponents mentioned that video games make a person to be in dash. But I don't agree. It gives them the opportunity to make new friends. Dash says that there are almost 3 billion gamers worldwide in 2021. Fast-paced games in particular contributed to a gamer's ability to make dash decisions. Again, the skill can be crucial in several fields of work such as in the army or in the hospital where you need to make fast and accurate decisions to sum up video games can promote dash and social engagement with other players making it a modern form of dash for kids and young adults thank you
and children you need to fill in these blanks and you should send it to me or you can type it there in the comment box to get to know about the right answer and i do believe that children you must have understood how to go about debate writing and what is the format of debate writing thank you children thanks for listening to me patiently please do like share and subscribe bye bye